you must have noticed in recent years that Mesos just doesn't want to leave the front pages. But what is Mesos? How dangerous is it? And should you get the vaccine against it? Before the development of the vaccine in 1983, measles was the leading cause of infant deaths in the world. The virus was responsible for 2.6 million deaths per year. Measles is caused by a relatively large virus, 120 to 250 nanometers. It's large in virus world. It's an RNA virus. It has a viral envelope with short spikes, relatively resistant and highly contagious. There is a 90% chance of contamination following exposition and an infected person is estimated to infect 27 other persons. However, it only infects humans, no animal hosts, which means that we are potentially able to eradicate it. The virus is transmitted via the respiratory tract and it's important to familiarize yourself with its subsequent timeline. The incubation period ranges from 10 to 15 days, after that symptoms will start to appear. However, an infected person is contagious 5 days before the appearance of symptoms and up to 5 days afterwards. Think of the number of people you can come across in your work, school, and public transportation during these 5 days when there are no symptoms and you will get the idea of the magnitude of the problem. After infection, the virus will launch its attack and replicate in the respiratory epithelium and two immune cell types, the macrophages and the dendritic cells. These infected cells continue their journey to the lymphoid organs, the spleen, the thymus, and the ganglion. This will cause the primary viremia and lead to an immune suppression. Subsequently, the virus will be disseminated to launch its secondary attack on multiple organs, the digestive tract, the skin, the lungs, the liver, and the kidneys. In the secondary viremia, the attack launched on these organs underlies the clinical signs observed notably the skin rash and the cough. Now how do we recognize measles? In 90% of the cases, the disease is clinically apparent. The initial symptoms consist of rhinitis, cough, fever, and conjunctivitis. A specific sign, but doesn't necessarily appear, is what's called the complex spots. This sign consists of red spots with a white dot on the inside of the cheeks facing the molars. Skin rash will subsequently appear and last for an average of 5 to 6 days. The rash will appear first on the face and the upper portion of the neck, then will rapidly extend towards the hands and feet. Measles might be particularly dangerous in the case of extreme age groups, less than 5 years or older than 30 years old, vitamin K deficient infants and immunocompromised subjects. Three complications can result, secondary bacterial infection to the attacked pulmonary tissue, corneal inflammation or keratitis which can lead to blindness in case of vitamin K deficiency, and encephalitis. Now what are the treatments for measles? There is no specific antiviral treatment. Treating the symptoms is usually the strategy. Vitamin K supply in case of deficiency, sufficient hydration, and antibiotics are only prescribed in case of secondary bacterial infection. Nonetheless, there is a lot we can do to prevent, maybe even eradicate measles, as there is a highly effective vaccine. This vaccine is a live attenuated virus, which means a weaker version of the virus is injected to the person, allowing his or her immune system to develop antibodies against it. The most known form of the vaccine is the MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella, immunizing against the three viruses. On the other hand, live attenuated vaccines are contraindicated to pregnant women, and immunodeficient subjects. In these cases, injection of specific antibodies could be discussed. Finally, even if by 2016 85% of children around the world were vaccinated and there was a 97% decrease in mortality, the WHO aims to eradicate the virus by 2020 and immunization coverage is essential if this disease is to be eradicated.